Hey Yoginis! So today I am recording from Ohio. I've got some dogs, a few extras than are normally running around. Try not to be distracted by them. And I just got a cavity filled so half of my face is numb, but I'm going to do my best to enunciate. And today we're going to work on balancing and flowing. So we'll be focusing on postures that have us balancing. So we're going to be using a lot of different muscles that maybe you're not so used to using. And then we'll also be moving relatively quickly. So I'm going to have us flowing through different postures and I'll be talking about things that you can be thinking about to help you keep your balance. And it works really well because we need to find balance during the holiday season and at the same time we need to keep moving. So we're going to start in crescent lunge. So start with your right foot forward and your left foot back behind you. Your hips will be square towards the front of the room and your back heel will be up. Bring your arms overhead and relax your ah. shoulders. Tuck your tailbone down slightly and take a deep breath here. Now you're going to take your right hand, the same hand with, that is on the side of your front foot, that right hand, and bring it back behind you, grabbing onto the opposite hip. Then you'll take your left hand and bend over towards the side. You want to find a nice stretch on the side body on the left. So on your inhale, feel your chest move up. And on your exhale, bend down a little bit more. Now you're going to have to start balancing here. So feel the inner thighs move towards each other. Take a deep breath. Now you're going to come back up to crescent lunge and bring your hands to heart center. Hinge forward and come to a revolved crescent lunge so you'll take your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh and you'll twist. Now you can bring your hand into a fist and cover the, right, the left fist with your right hand and then you'll pull your left side body up. Maybe gaze over your shoulder. Again, pull the inner thighs together and press back through your left heel. Now from here I want you to start to straighten your left hand and bring it to the floor. If you need to modify here, you can always lower to your knee. And you're going to take your hand out just in front of your toes. Now start to shift your weight forward into your right foot, your left hand, your right hand can be on your hips. And you're gonna lift your left foot up behind you into a revolved half moon. Eventually, you can maybe take your right hand up off the hips here, your hips are square to the ground, flex your left foot, and you'll be working on balance here. Now, it's totally okay to move. You'll probably be moving around in that right standing foot. Take a deep breath. Now, you'll take your hand up above and bring it down to the ground. Replace it where the left hand was. Then start to open up your hips so that your left hip stacks on top of your right into a full half moon pose. Still standing in, in that right leg, nice and strong, flexed through the left foot. Pull the heart forward, maybe gaze up over the fingertips. You might wobble, that's all right. On your exhale, take the hand down to the ground. Now both hands are on the ground, hips square again. Relax your head in your next standing splits. Take a deep breath here. Now put a bend in your right leg and very slowly, you'll bend your left knee in, bring it up and around for eagle pose. Take your left arm underneath your right arm and cross the arms with the palms coming together to touch. If you can't do that, you can rest the hands on opposite shoulders. Take a deep breath here. The foot can always come out and help balance as a kickstand, or if you can, take the full wrap. Deep inhale, exhale, release the hands, come all the way up to stand, and then exhale, fold forward. Release the head, shake it out, take a deep breath, maybe bring the feet about hip distance apart, bend the knees, feel a nice stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Now from here, we'll switch to the other side, so take your right foot back behind you, your left foot will be forward, and we'll move into a crescent lunge. Hands come up again. If you need to modify, you can lower to the knee. This is still working balance. You'll still be working on pulling the inner thighs together. So either way, foot up, knee up or knee down. Shoulders relaxed. Now we'll take that, 
that side bend here. So you'll take your left hand behind you, grab hold onto the opposite waist and twist or bend rather towards your left thigh. So as you breathe, you should feel a nice stretch on the right side of the body. Now you might have to work on balance here. Keep squeezing the thighs, press back through the right foot. On your inhale, come back up to center. Hands come to the heart. Hinge forward slightly, and then take the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Press the elbow into the side of the thigh to help deepen the twist, modified by lowering to the knee. The more you start looking up over the shoulder, the harder it will become. Squeeze the thighs, press back through the right heel. Now start to straighten the arms and take the right hand outside and in front of the left foot. Shift the weight forward, bring the right foot up. Move slowly here, revolved half moon. Straighten the left leg as much as possible, flex the right foot. Then bring your hand down, replace it with where the right hand was, open up the hips, and bring your right hand overhead, half moon. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Wobbling is all right here. We've got some dogs playing. <clears throat> on your exhale, take your hand down to the ground, square the hips. You're in a standing split. This is the true practice of yoga, trying to not be distracted by the dogs. Release the head and the neck. Now put a slight bend in your left leg. Pull the right knee in and slowly start to stand up. And take the right leg, cross it over the left thigh. You can do the bind here or you can keep the leg out. Your right arm will come underneath the left. Squeeze the arms together, press the palms together. Lift the elbows up and out. Relax the shoulders, take two deep breaths. One more. Release. Take the feet to the ground, stand up. Arms overhead, exhale down. Forward fold, take the feet, hip distance apart, grab hold of the big toes with your peace fingers, the pointer finger and the middle finger. On your inhale, come to a halfway lift, find a flat back. On your exhale, bend the elbows, fold deeply. Take two deep breaths. One more. And then slowly bend your knees, bring yourself to a seated position, cross-legged or whatever is most comfortable for you. Plant your hands on your thighs, close your eyes. Focus on your breathing for a moment. Relax your shoulders. Feel your spine grow tall. So this has been a flow that you can practice with your balance. Try not to get frustrated. Balancing can sometimes be frustrating for people. There's always modifications for every single body. And if there are certain poses in the flow today that you found more difficult than others, then practice those a little bit more each day. Just a few seconds, a few minutes each day, and you'll see yourself progress. If you ever have any questions, please let, let me know. I'm happy to answer anything and everything about yoga, health, wellness, and balance. My name is Ashley Josephine Hertzberger. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.